Welcome back to Previews Tutorial Series. I am Vikram, and in this video, I will be talking about how you can install Motic on Digital Ocean's Droplet. Before getting started, I would recommend to check the link in the description where you might find this tutorial, which might help you out in setting of Motic. Let's begin with the introduction part. Motic is one of the popular open source marketing platform which which will help you out in sending bulk emails designing campaigns and more of user journey for marketing second part motic becomes more powerful when it is hosted on any of the cloud there are various famous cloud service providers like amazon's aws microsoft's azure digitalocean and lineup in this video i will be talking about digitalocean that is installing motic on digitalocean droplet now, what are the pre-requirement? You need to have a DigitalOcean account and a Motic zip file for installing on that DigitalOcean droplet. Let's begin with the step one. So, uh, DigitalOcean provides a very simple, uh, sleek UI for getting signed up at DigitalOcean. Either you you can do with a Google or a GitHub. So, it's an OAuth. So, one click and you need to approve from GitHub and Google account. And that's it an account is created on the digital ocean more of if you want to create an account using a uh, enterprise or organization id they provide that uh, preference also once you have created you will be redirect to a dashboard page as you can see this is a dashboard uh, now here we need to create a droplet this will be the second step where actual our operating system and model will be installed that is a droplet now what is a droplet Droplet is a new frame for a virtual machine uh, which are Linux based and uh, has visualized hardware. Generating or creating a new uh, droplet means new, generating or creating a new server. As you can see uh, at the right top corner there is a button called create. You can select droplet from here and you will be redirected to a page where you need to do some certain steps in order to create a droplet. Once you are redirected to the page, the first thing we need to do is select an operating system. So se the selecting an operating system that will be installed on the droplet will look like this. So DigitalOcean provides uh, around five OS or flavors of operating system. That is an Ubuntu, FreeBSD, Fedora, Debian, CentOS. And each OS has different sort of versions. Now it's time to uh, select a best plan for Motic. And since we have created or selected the operating system where we will be installing Motic, now it's time for creating a decent Motic application so that uh, the mark, mark, so that the application runs fluently. So there are two uh, sections that is in starter and performer performance. So if you are going with the performance, there are again uh, three sections within a performance that is general purpose. CPU optimized, memory optimized. So uh, the best would be a CPU optimized or you can opt for a memory optimized, but it's better to have a mediocre uh, range of server that is a $40 server. So it usually provides 4 GB of RAM to CPUs, 25 GB SSD and 4 TB of data transfer. And the second one is a starter, but in starter they have multiple sort of uh, starting with a package that that is right from five dollars to uh, max range but i would suggest to take a twenty dollars or a forty dollars servers twenty dollars will be fine if you are getting started with uh, less amount of data if you have a greater amount i would uh, definitely recommend to go with the performance pack so if you are choosing choosing a starter pack you will go you should go with the 4 gb of ram two cpus 80 gb ssd and 4 tb of tra uh, data transfer it, that will hardly cost you $20 per month. Again, uh, these are just recommendation. If you want uh, to know more about uh, these droplets and all, you can free, uh, again go to Digital Ocean's website where they, they have explained each and every uh, thing in terms of uh, choosing a plan or, or operating system. Once we have done with the plan and operating system, now it's time to choose a data center or other additional options that can be uh, and private networking or IPv6 or monitoring stuff. So what is data center? So data centers are physical locations where actual virtualized hardware are deployed. 
so uh, it totally depends on uh, the server on this mod on modic that uh, that you want to send out emails to for example you you need to do business within the uh, section all you need to do is uh, select an decent data center that is very nearest uh, to your marketing stuff if you want to do marketing in india uh, then you can choose for a bangalore uh, data center if you are, want to uh, do marketing in new york or san francisco or you want to operate your marketing technology within any of the nearest uh, countries then you can select your data center accordingly so that the latency of network is very less once they are, uh, that is done then you can go for an authentication and naming your uh, server that is using an ssh key or login method ssh key are considered more secure way of uh, logging into your server where login methods are also secure but not considered as more secure since uh, the password that you need to set up should be more complex in terms of username and password both so that it is not easily hackable and the security uh, term is very higher in that case it's time to uh, project backups and finalizing a droplet so uh, since we have uh, chosen a best operating system a decent plan a data center nearby and some additional options now it's time to finalize a uh, droplet creation so selecting and backup and selecting and droplet can be very less and i, I recommend to choose a backup since uh, the data is very important to you uh, in a motic for marketing automation so choosing a backup is always a better option so it will cost a uh, 20 dollars 20 percent of the actual droplet price that's fine to invest once you are uh, done with the finalized uh, creation you will be headed to the last part of create droplet link you can create uh, click this link and create your server it may take few times don't need to panic for that since uh, we have uh, created each and every uh, steps that is the operating system will be installed and much more similar steps it might take few time the last uh, steps are installing motic so here are three different type of uh, motic related uh, you may say tutorials that i would like to share if you have selected uh, an operating system ubuntu then you can freely go here and check out the link where you can find uh, the tutorial related to the motic so it has each and every step and dependency resolu uh, resolution similarly for centos and uh, the other stuff like cron management uh, setting up cron email delivery issue you can find it here so these are the uh, usual motic tutorials that uh, peppy boost has written so you can find uh, many of your solutions here many of your solution to problem here that's it for the video uh, signing off and uh, i will recommend to subscribe our peppy Boost channel for, for uh, further product updates and tutorial series next uh, new videos for tutorial series thank you